An odd inquiry on my credit report a few months ago has me asking, has my right to privacy been violated by someone in some kind of Orwellian response to my efforts to shine a light on controversial actions being taken by my city and county government? If so, how would they use that information against me? I'm a Dave Ramsey girl, so I don't have credit cards or any loans. I'm debt free and plan on staying that way. So I haven't asked for any pre-approvals. I was not in the middle of an insurance renewal or changing insurance companies. I just haven't had any reason to authorize a soft pull of my credit report other than to get my free annual report and to switch phone carriers. I don't even belong to any credit monitoring programs. So I was really surprised to see that inquiry on there from Fiserv, a company I'd never heard of before. When I searched the address, 6000 Perimeter Drive, Dublin, I was even more perplexed, even maybe alarmed. It belonged to Ease Logistics, familiar to me because I had recently pulled public records regarding what I felt was a sweetheart real estate deal between our county land bank and this company's attorney. The date the credit inquiry was made makes me wonder even more. One day before I released a video criticizing my city's investments and the catastrophic effect it would have on our housing market if they continued to rubber stamp growth that propped up these investments, I had been emailing with the city finance director and the county treasurer between the dates of July 28th and August 8th. So one day after our last email and one day before I released my video, this credit inquiry was ran on my credit report. The city finance director also serves as the treasurer for the Union County Port Authority, who's paid $160,000, maybe a little more, to rent unused space in a warehouse in Innovation Park over a period of seven years. Um, it sounds like Ease Logistics is now renting or will soon move into that space that city and county taxpayers have been paying for for a seriously long time. Um, by the way, the date of that article about the city finance director and Ease Logistics is August 2nd. Um, so that's during the period of my emailing with him about the city's investments and one week before my video came out. Here's where things get really interesting. Fiserv, the institution that placed the inquiry on my credit report, was based at the 6000 Perimeter Drive address in previous years but vacated the premises for Wisconsin over three years ago. Did they leave a server or software program behind? I highly doubt they simply forgot to change their address. Checking the Ohio Secretary of State yields two active listings for Fiserv in Ohio. Fiserv Solutions, which traces back to Wisconsin, where their offices at Perimeter Drive moved back to in 2020. And there's the Ohio Fiserv User Group. The address for this Fiserv User Group is Heartland Bank in Whitehall. Lieutenant Governor John Houston is on the board, 
which I find interesting. I don't know much about it, but apparently Houston has some ties to the first energy scandal. Listen, Fiserv was the middleman between Bernie Madoff and hundreds of investors who would later discover they had invested in a Ponzi scheme. In 2019, Fiserv acquired First Data Merchant Services and Vincent Co., who used First Data to launder millions of dollars via, pay attention here, restaurants from 2012 to 2014. He would become one of Fiserv's top execs after the acquisition. But the most scary thing I've read since I started down this rabbit hole is that during their time at JP Morgan together, the CEO of Fiserv, Frank Bisignano, according to writers at Bloomberg, protected and promoted a guy they call a one-man national security agency, thanks to his masterful use of the Palantir software. Apparently, originally to be used as a weapon in the war against terror, this software is now being turned on people like you and me. Is this all connected to that mysterious inquiry on my credit report? I honestly don't know. I did call the phone number on the report today to try to reach someone at Fiserv. Thank you for calling Fiserv. For account payable, press 1. For account receivable, press 2. Sorry, we have not received your input. Thank you for calling Fiserv. For account payable, press 1. Well? For account receivable, press 2. Let's try it again. Thank you for calling Fiserv. For account payable, press 1. For account receipt. Thank you for calling the Fiserv account payable team. Please send a detailed message, including your name and phone number, and we will return your call as soon as we can. Thank you. Maybe there is someone out there who can help me figure this out.